Hi, I'm Taylor Roberts. I'm from Parkland, Florida. I'll be a junior at the University of Florida next year, and I recently co-hosted the Impact 22 Cup. Well, my name is Phoebe Brinker. I'm from Wilmington, Delaware, and I'm going to be a junior at Duke University. Um, I play golf there. We really wanted to just create an experience for our friends and everyone to kind of get together and raise money to, um, for the Golf Emergency Relief Fund. So helping golf pros out who were struggling during COVID, um, that was definitely where, where all of this uh, volunteer and fundraising started with the AJGA. Um, Leadership Links has helped us so much throughout the process. The first day of the event, we played the Bobby Jones Golf Course, and then we had um, Jeff Johnson, who has the Living Undeterred Tour, talk about suicide and overdose and how um, the stigma around mental health um, and just how we can create awareness but also do things to help society. After we listened to Jeff, we were um, at the in-town club. The main objective was to give an experience for the players so they would leave a better person than when they came and with skills. Um, there was two therapists that came from Florida, um, Dr. Patricia Shutt and Clara Bossi, and they led us through um, different mental health exercises and tools. The last day, we came to Eastley Club in the morning and we did a meditation walk to um, the Drew Jones Charter School, um, which I believe is really special that we gave back to them. Um, so we planted um, flowers at the East Lake Drew Charter School, um, and we met some of the kids that go to school there. It was like um, very nice to meet them and um, just hear like their own background and be able to connect with them. Throughout college, it was such a big adjustment, being away from parents and family that I really value, and kind of being thrown into a lot of golf and a lot of school and a lot of other obligations or, and commitments that I, I wanted to pursue off the golf course. Um, and so I think balancing all of that was definitely a struggle for me. Um, but I learned and I kept trying, and like Robert talked about with Generation Next, there's always going to be be great times in your life and there's always going to be um, worse times in your life but kind of keeping that like level head and patience I think is something I've really learned. I want to thank um, AJGA for um, partnering with me. All the ideas in my head and made it possible and made it happen and um, someone came up to me and said this was the best time of their life and the experiences that they learned that they'll always remember and I cried from the text that I got just because um, if I could change one life it would mean the most to me. I believe I did that and I struggle with believing in myself and the fact that um, someone has already felt better because of me it makes all of this worth it. Our impact was definitely on the s smaller scale of the people at the tournament and the 20 people here that we focused on and had a really great experience together. Um, and then also um, kind of the bigger picture with raising the money and donating that to Generation Next and also the AJGA Ace Grant and how that money is going to be used um, in ways to just benefit so many different lives and so many different um, aspects of mental health and I'm really excited to also work on that part too. We have the money now from everyone putting in so much great effort to fundraise and now kind of having a cool experience in, in using that to impact lives. I deserve to believe in myself.